What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this lawn boy mower and the problem is that while it was being used, the self propel stopped working. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this mower, however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. Now this mower was running just fine all season and has been very reliable for many years, only needing a carb cleaning and a few primer bulbs. This is the first time that I can remember it having a major issue. The story is that while it was being used, the self propel suddenly stopped working. The first thing to do is to take a look around for anything obvious, otherwise we might have a serious issue on our hands. And it looks as though the issue is pretty obvious. If we move the self propel handle, we can see that it's extremely easy to move, and that's because there's no tension on it. It's also at this point that we see the bend on the end of the cable has broken off. So unless there's more issues that we can't see, the fix would be to replace the cable with a new one. The best thing about this repair is that it has to be the easiest cable to replace when it comes to a self propel system. All we need to do is unhook the spring end of the cable from the pulley, then squeeze the tabs on the anchor, and this end of the cable is free. The other end is held in place with an adjustable anchor, but it only requires you to remove the anchor from the handlebar so we can slide out the cable. Before we try and replace the cables, I do want to compare them to make sure that they are very close in size. They don't have to be the exact same, but in this case, close is good enough. So there is a slight difference in length, but it should be okay because we can adjust it to make it work. However, when it comes to something like a drive belt, it has to be the same dimensions, otherwise it may not work like it's supposed to. Once the bottom section of cable has been connected, the top part is a little bit more involved as you have to squeeze the cable into its slot on the anchor, then attach that anchor to the handlebar. Don't tighten the nut and bolt just yet till we get the cable connected to the brake handle. After attaching the cable, we need to adjust it so that there's enough tension on the drive belt. I would leave some slack in the cable because the cable is spring loaded. If you make it too taut with no slack, when you squeeze the handle, you will be fighting against the spring instead of letting the spring apply the right tension to the drive belt. Now after tightening the nut and bolt, check to make sure that the brake handle is comfortable to squeeze, and if it's not, put a little bit more slack in the cable. Now this one seems to be okay, however I did end up adding a little bit more slack in the cable after mowing with it. The drive system on this mower still works very well after all these years and hopefully it will continue to work for another decade. Another reason why the self propel would stop working is that the drive belt has broken. To find out if that's happened, just remove the plastic cover over the gearbox and you should see the belt. If it is broken, then you need to replace it, otherwise this mower is light enough that pushing it is not that difficult. So my question is, would you even bother fixing the self propel system if it stopped working, especially if the lawn mower was easy enough to push without it? Personally, I would have no issues pushing this mower if the drive system stopped working. In fact, the self propel system on my own mower stopped working years ago, and I haven't bothered to fix it because it's so extremely easy to push. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask me any questions, and I hope to see you in the next video.